from the scammers. You're the whistleblower. That's right. And it hasn't happened with the Nobody's present crop. Has there been any backlash? <laughs> yes, actually, there has been backlash. Uh, what did the woman she called? Uh, the latest one that we had was uh, I've actually ascended to the level of being called scum. <laughs> on on a group of psychics, they said I'm scum. Amazon <laughs> reviews is starting to get. Do you have projections? You have to have your shield up. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I think I think it's, it's all it's all part it's all part of the what what I expected really. You know, I mean, I, I'm not I'm not going and the Psychic Friends Network is not going to be happy either because I really I really tell the story about how they manipulate people for three ninety nine a minute. You know. That's another revelation. That's right. The good versus the evil. Yeah, that's exactly right. I'm glad you got that. The tree of knowledge. That's right. Yes. I have a question. I um, we were at a wedding yesterday, and uh, a lot of most people were all strangers to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. And so two different people that I met, and they were very unusual. We made a connection right away, and right. It, you know, it seemed like ooh, you they're met fun them to in talk a to previous one life. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, um, but the one connection between them, they each said to me, "This was meant to be." Right. And I keep thinking about. It. He only has one arm, right? So it's very difficult for him to handle books behind his counter. So he's going like this and going like this, and, and I said. Uh, I said, oh, I've been looking for this book for so long, you know. Things happen for a reason, and he goes, and he looks at where his arm used to be, and he says, not always. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it depends on, on what you project into I even think that's true, too. Yeah. So, you know, they, oh, oh, but that's because, because, you know, if you make it, it's like this. People, this is part of what my book is about, is people... As a, as a community of human beings, the people who are right here, we, the reason why all this stuff seems to work is, in my opinion, is that we've lost the ability to really just talk to each other. In other words, if I start telling her really intimate details about her life, if you're in the supermarket checkout stand and I just turned to her and started telling you all about yourself, you'd probably go, security, get this guy away from me. Right. If I have a sign that says, if I, the same person, if I have a sign that says psychic in a table and I'm sitting here, they'll, she'll tell me your whole life. So it's the context. So I, what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is if we've lost this ability to just talk to each other and just use common sense, it's the same thing. Why that person connected with you is because we want to connect with each other. And it's so rare when that happens now that people light up and say, wow, this was meant to be. They want to be your friend because we're all isolated. We all connect through Facebook. Right. Right. So, well, that's what I mean. So face, things like Facebook have made us more aware that you can immediately connect with somebody. So. I don't have a problem with that. But like I said, if somebody says, you know, uh, I feel immediate connection with your aura and you, you know, here, you must call me for a meeting, then I would say, hey, thank you for your card. And, you know, if you have a connection with another human being, that's great. Nothing psychic about it. People get married, people, you know. She asked me my name so she could do my numerology. Right. Right. So is that, is there, do you, have you gone into that at all? Numerology? Numerology? Absolutely. It's just another way, it's like I say in my book, it doesn't matter what you use to make this bridge. You can use numerology, tarot cards, palmistry, rune stones, animal entrails, bananas. I've done it with bananas. I've done readings with bananas. I have. It's in the book. What I do is the, the way the person peels the banana is their past, the way they eat the banana is their present, and the lines on the inside is their future. It's a skill. It's a system. As long as you have a system that you have memorized that makes sense to you, you know, you can take a regular pack of cards. Hearts mean love. Diamonds mean wealth. Clubs mean social. You know, you make it up. As long as... And now, numerology has been, been around a couple centuries, I suppose. But there's...
doesn't prove that it really works. It's just another way for two people to I think, like the lady she was talking about yesterday, was sincere. Yeah. She don't have the money. I think some people really believe that they're not right. scam artists or well, okay. charlatans. I think they really I, I always that say ability. probably 80, in my, and this is just in my experience. A large percentage of charlatans are yeah. out here. So, but the, the 10 to 15 percent, they can be diluted. They, I mean, once, once, you, once you start getting testimonials from people, I mean, when I first started doing this, I knew what I was doing from the get-go. I started to get testimonials from people. Oh, you're blessed, your gift, you get, starts to go to your head. Pretty soon you start to think, oh, wow, maybe I've got something here. And I can make a living with this. But is it supernatural? That's the question. Or is it just people and, and a natural gift we all have? I mean, we're talking right now. There's nothing supernatural about this, as far as I know. So, so I, I'm really interested in communication. <laughs> well, that, that, that may be true. Because we're, we're communicating on a level that probably most people don't communicate. So I think that's that's the important part. I think it's much easier now, too, where uh, a psychic per se can get so much information on anybody. Like Absolutely. And Facebook, Absolutely. Or relatives, parents. When I, do, when I do a celebrity party, I used to have agents, I still do, who would book me and they would say, you're going to go to this person's house in Orange County. Let's just see what I can find. How many rooms are there? And in fact, James Van Prague, that's what that's what he was caught doing in the, in the last Nightline special. Mm -hmm. he, he knew who the reporter was who was going to interview him. Yeah. And either he either did it or himself, or he had one of his minions do it. But he, he got some information about the person, and then during the reading, he gave it to this guy. And then the guy said, wait a minute. I put that in a newspaper article. That was that was my a wedding oh, invitation or something like that. He yeah, found he, at first he was amazed. He's like, I can't believe how you did that. And then the reporter came back later and said, Well, with a quick Google search, I found that all the information he reported back to me was mentioned in a wedding announcement that so I had been to a few years ago. It's a performance art. It's an act. Did you do that? Did you go um, readings at a celebrity? Yeah. Yeah, there's some in there. But that but I never I never really had to Yeah. Yeah, but but, but it's interesting because the the, the, the uh, celebrity or the entertainment world, they're very superstitious. And they're very they're very much into psychics because their careers are built around they might be working one day and then and then they might not ever work again in a film or a movie. So they they can be very superstitious, so they're very vulnerable. So I, I learned that is you know, be careful what you say to these people because they're they're gonna hold you to it later.